The Song of Songs, also known as the Song of Solomon, is a collection of poetry that celebrates sexual love between two individuals. This book describes in personal and vivid detail the depths and sheer delights of that love between a bridegroom and his bride. In no other biblical book do we find the intimacy and intensity of love's language as employed here. The Book of Song of Solomon is a large love poem filled with smaller poems of different kinds. Solomon is the author and he wrote it sometime during his reign 970-930 BC. It is a story of a bridegroom who is in love with his bride. Key personalities are King Solomon, the Shulamite girl, and friends. The story greatly emphasizes the sanctity of marriage and that it is designed, blessed and consecrated in the eyes of the Lord. The purpose of, Song of Songs, as it is also called, is a picture of God's love for his people. Although there is explicit sexual content, it is a book in which we can learn the depths of God's authentic love for us and what should be in the sacredness of marriage. In chapters 1 to 3, Solomon writes of the courtship and engagement of the beloved, Solomon, and the lover, Shulamite girl. My beloved responded and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, and come along, to 10. Chapters 3 to 4, we read of the marriage ceremony of the bride to the bridegroom, Go forth, O daughters of Zion, and gaze on King Solomon with the crown with which his mother has crowned him on the day of his wedding, 311. Chapters 5 to 8, are the relationship between the husband and wife and the power of their love. Many waters cannot quench love, nor will rivers overflow it. If a man were to give all the riches of his house for love, it would be utterly despised, 8 to 7.